The City of Perth Council will be suspended, bringing to a head a chaotic two weeks marred with bullying claims and constant changes to the CEO. In the past two hours, the local government minister said enough was enough and announced he's stepping in. Michael Genovese, the councillors will face the music on Friday. Yeah, Tomo, the local government minister, says it's all about receiving legal advice to do with the actual process, but either way, this is going to end with the council being suspended. The majority of councillors believe that this whole crisis was set up by the Lord Mayor when she lost control of council, but that's something that Lisa Scafidi vehemently refutes, uh, saying that things went downhill while she was in exile over a travel perk scandal. Either way, the local government minister says today was all about drawing a line in the sand summoned to the Minister's office and read the Riot Act. In my view, it is now untenable for the Council to continue and therefore I have indicated to them that it is my intention uh, to suspend that Council. Labor has threatened to sack the Lord Mayor for more than a year, but three CEOs and two bullying claims in less than a fortnight mean now the whole Council looks set to go. Recent uh, events, uh, including those over the last eight days, has confirmed for me that a line needs to be drawn in the sand. A majority claim it's a conspiracy by Lisa Scafidi and she's engineered the crisis deliberately. Since the election in October last year, the Lord Mayor lost her majority on council and so she hasn't been ha had the control of the council and so she's sought to undermine uh, the majority of council and bring the council down. That is absolutely a spin and that is not correct. The bottom line to the whole thing is that there are some very serious issues that I only found out about when I returned to work. Today's decision comes after a chaotic three years for the city. Ratepayers forced to endure almost constant drama from councillors. It started with revelations the Lord Mayor had failed to declare gifts and travel. On Feb 19th, CEO Martin Milam went on stress leave. Then on Monday, the acting CEO, Robert Mianich, also went on stress leave. Last night, a new leader was appointed, the third in 10 days. This is a coordinated effort uh, on on the part of a few to bring the, the council down. And be under no illusion, the elected members of the City of Perth positions, in my view, are untenable. So, Michael Genovese, the council's been told it is time to go. What happens next? Well, Tomo, Friday is D-Day, although either way the council will be suspended. The minister has two options. He can give councillors 21 days to try and prove him wrong and prove that they deserve their jobs, or come Friday he can suspend them effective immediately, at which point uh, commissioners will be appointed to run the city. We understand that that'll be an expensive process and will cost ratepayers in excess of a million dollars. Another thing that's important to point out, uh, Tomo, is that these councillors, although they will be suspended, they'll still be entitled uh, to earn their wage from the city, although that's something that um, at least six councillors have told us today that they would feel uncomfortable accepting any more money from ratepayers. Michael.